Okay, here we go. We're going to explore rational equations. Rational means fraction. Literally having to do with fractions, it comes from Latin. And we have a whole bunch of fractions there, but we can deal with it because we have a secret weapon. So number 31. 1 over 2 minus 18 over 25y equals 12 over 25 minus 1 tenth y, or I should say 1 over 10y. We're going to choose an LCD, a common denominator, that will cancel out all of those individual denominators. We have 2, 25, y, and 10. And the 25 breaks down into 5 times 5, and the 10 breaks down into 2 times 5. And what we need is a number that will cancel out the 2, 2 5's, and a y. So we need a common denominator large enough to cancel out those numbers, and that's going to be 2 times 5 times 5 times y, which is 50y. Kind of cordon that off a little bit. All right, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 50y. Notice I put each side of the equation in parentheses. Oops, I should have said 50y there, not 50. There, good. All right. Okay, now distribute. I'm going to turn 50y into a fraction because I'm multiplying fractions. That makes it easier to cancel. So I'll have 50y over 1 times 1 half minus 50y over 1 times 18 over 25y equals 50y over 1 times 12 over 25 minus 50y over 1 times 1 over 10y. Now we're going to have a canceling party. Cancel and write what's left below. In the beginning, 2 goes into, tw into 50 25 times, so we'll have 25y. Then 25 goes into 50 two times. The y's cancel, so 2 times 18 is 36 equals, well, in the same way, we're going to have 24y minus 5. Now we have a very nice equation with no fractions. Solve it the way you normally would. Subtract 24y from both sides of the equation. Then add 36 over to both sides of the equation.
and we'll have y equals 31. Let's go back and type our answer in the answer box. And check answer. Yay! Fantastic! And we're going to move along to number 32. It's also a rational equation, though solving it will probably be a little easier than the other one because there are fewer denominators. So we'll have 6 over x plus 1 equals 8 over x. Again, we need an LCD that will cancel out the two denominators. We'll need an x and an x plus 1. The x and the x plus 1 cannot be used to cancel out an x by itself. That x is connected to the plus 1. So x times x plus 1 is our LCD and we'll multiply the left side of the equation by it and we'll multiply the right side of the equation by x times x plus 1 over 1. And of course we will then cancel I love canceling We'll have 6x on the left, and because the x is canceled, we'll have 8 times x plus 1 on the right. Subtract 8x from both sides in order to get your x terms together because we're solving an equation. So negative 2x will equal 8. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. And you'll have x equals negative 4. Let's put that in the answer box. Fantastic!